thanks for joining me this afternoon and um, we're doing a study on the uh, sower sows the word is what we're calling this and uh, I'm reading through the book of Mark chapter 4 and starting at verse 14 uh, in our last session I read uh, from 14 down to I believe verse 19 so I'm gonna uh, just briefly go over these these verses again real quickly for those who haven't heard the previous session that we did <clears throat> But it says the sower, and this is, by the way, the Messiah or the Mashiach speaking here. He says the sower sows the word. I'm sowing the word right now in your heart as if you're listening. If you have ears to hear, the word of Yahuwah is being sown in your heart. As you, as you listen to the preaching of the word of Yahuwah or someone proclaiming the word, the word is being sown in your heart. And there's different results for different people as we're going to see through this parable of how the word is differently received by different people and, and what, uh, what fruit it bears in some people's lives and some, in some people it does not bear fruit. And so this is a very good uh, revelation and understanding for us to, to have. So verse 15 says, and these are they by the wayside. Now there's one description here about the, way, the seed that's planted by the wayside where the word is sown but when they have heard, Shatan or Satan comes immediately and takes the word that was sown. Notice that this word was sown in their heart. He takes it away because it's, uh, he comes immediately to steal the word. See, you and I need to understand that, you know, Shatan does not want that word to have time to germinate and produce fruit in that person's life and that's why he'll come immediately sometimes <clears throat> when we're teaching or preaching the word to someone that they can be assured of that shaitan will come and try to steal that word now he's not able to steal it all the time and we're going to see why the uh, uh, that's the case as we read through here but it says in verse 16 they are and they likewise which are so sown on stony ground who when they have heard the word receive it with gladness have you ever shared the word with someone and they're just all excited about it and really glad about what you're sharing with them and unfortunately that can be short-lived if if uh if their heart really isn't you know if they don't if they don't uh, persevere and pursue the things of the kingdom of yahuwah but it says they receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. <laughs> Have you ever noticed people that, that when you share with them sometime, they get really excited about what you're sharing with them, and then some, some, sometime after that, they may go through some kind of affliction or persecution, and they, instead of... Uh, <clears throat> You know, knowing how to deal with that and how to persevere in that situation, they become offended. You might have shared with them about Yahuwah's love and how uh, he's merciful and gracious, slow to anger and a, and a good mercy, great mercy. And um, you could tell them all the, the great things of, of Yahuwah's love for them. But then some kind of persecution arises in their lives and, and they become offended, you know, instead of really, and then they, bl they really start blaming Yahuwah or they blame you or blame somebody for the problems that they're experiencing. And uh, that's, that's this illustration right here. They become offended. So Shatan is able to steal that word that was sown in their hearts. <clears throat> Verse 18 says, And these are they which are sown among thorns. And this is another il illustration here. They're sown among thorns, such as hear the word, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust or desires of other things entering in choke the word and it or the word becomes unfruitful. Now how many, how many people do, have you shared the word with and, and they have become burdened down with the cares of this world. <clears throat> they no longer say read their scriptures. They no longer spend time in prayer. They no longer keep pursuing the things of the kingdom of Yahuwah. But instead, they become all involved in this world and all the things that are going on in this world. And that causes them to, the word to be stolen out of their lives. 
it also says the lust of other things entering in. Now, what that's talking about is the desires of other things entering in their lives. In other words, <clears throat> they get involved in a lot of things they enjoy doing in, in just in the natural realm. And it begins to, to take up all their time and energy. You know, Yahushua himself said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So where your treasure is where you spend your time, what you spend your time doing, what you spend your affection on, what you, uh, you know, your focus, your attention upon. And unfortunately, a lot of people start out hearing the word of Yahuwah. They get real excited. They, they, get, get, they, they, they realize that they need a savior. They call upon him. But then, all of a sudden, then things begin to, they begin to get involved in other things and other activities and the, and, and the desires of other things enter in. <clears throat> and it begins to choke the word that was planted in their hearts. But I got to finish with verse 20 here. And it says, these are they which are sown on good ground. <laughs> Hopefully you're the good ground that, that the word of Yahuwah will fall into. Such as hear the word, they receive it, and they bring forth some 30-fold, some 60, and some 100. In other words, those that receive the word in good ground, they bring forth fruit in variations of 30, either 30-fold, 60-fold, or 100-fold. <laughs> depending on you know their own uh, attention that they have put toward the word of Yahuwah. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Please share this with others and we will pick up on our next session and go into a little bit more detail about this great parable of the sower sows the word. Shalom.